Hello to everyone today. My name is Sister Eleanor. I'm a member of the Taylor family of Franciscans, of interfaith Franciscans, and I'd like to welcome you today to Vespers. I just have to, I'm a little bit behind right now, so I'm just lighting my candle even as we speak, so I invite you to light yours as well. So, today we're uh, praying Vespers, <clears throat> and today is the Feast of Christ the King, okay, in the Roman Catholic liturgical calendar, uh, it is the end of the year and the beginning of the year with Advent next Sunday. So, I also want to say that today uh, we're going for a simplistic uh, Vespers, uh, where we're just going to not have any uh, background music. Um, usually I put background music on for the enjoyment of all of us and also, believe it or not, to keep uh, our brother Chewy calm and from not barking through the entire um, Vespers because it actually calms him down. So we'll see how it goes today and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So. As I said, this is the Feast of Christ the King today, and uh, what we're doing is we're praying our Vesper prayer to have our Father, Mother, God be the center part of our lives today, to be the King, Queen of our lives. And this is going to be our Vesper prayer for today, my Vesper prayer, my intention, that we can surrender ourselves to the process of our Father, Mother, God working in our lives. And it is a process. It's a surrender every day. It's an ongoing process. As I said, salvation happens every day. It just isn't something that uh, is a, it's a one-time deal to a point. But on the other hand, it's something that happens every day in our lives through our surrendering to the process. So let us invite uh, the king in our lives, the queen in our lives, of our Father and Mother God. Um, our God knows more about us than we ever know about ourselves and orchestrates things in our lives when we surrender to that process and we don't try to meddle with uh, the affairs of God and we don't try to impose our will and our egoistic will, let's say, in our lives. So let us now be about that today. Let us think about what it means to have uh, our God as the King of our lives, as the Lord of our lives, and what it means to surrender. So let's just think about that in the next couple days before we get into the season of light and Advent. So as I said, our candle is lit. Our candle is lit for peace. Let the fire burn brightly. Peace, 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 angel of peace. Be always everywhere. I see the angel of peace in all that lives, in all that I do, in every word I speak, and in every action that I take. For peace is the key to all of life. I am one with the golden stream of light that is the garment of the angel of peace. And that's attributed to Jesus from the Essene Gospels of Peace. So let us begin now by calling God into our prayer right now. God is within, God is without, and we are going to try to break the barriers down between ourselves and God who's always within us by calling God into the picture. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us, to help us to pray today. Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And Alleluia. And now we have our hymn again, Crown Him with Many Crowns, our poem for the day. Crown Him with Many Crowns, the Lamb upon His Throne. Hark! How the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake, my soul, and sing of him who died for thee. Inhale him as thy matchless king through all eternity. 
Crown him the Lord of Peace, whose scepter, whose power a scepter sways, from pole to pole that wars may cease, absorbed in prayer and praise. His reign shall know no end, and round his pierced feet, fair flowers of paradise extend, their fragrance ever sweet. Crown him the Lord of Heaven, one with the Father known, and that blessed spirit through him given, from yonder triune throne. All hail, Redeemer, hail, for thou hast died for me. Thy praise shall never, never fail throughout eternity. And of course, every Sunday we have the Psalm 109, which speaks of the Messiah as King and Priest. So let us pray this healing psalm now. The antiphon is, Christ the Lord is a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Alleluia. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, while I make your enemies your footstool. From Zion the Lord will give you a scepter, and he will rule in the midst of your foes. Royal power is yours in the day of your strength, among the sacred splendors. Before the dawn I begot you from the womb. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, a priest of the priesthood of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand, and on the day of his anger he will shatter kings. He will drink from the stream as he goes, and he will hold his head up high. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Antiphon again. Christ the Lord is a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Alleluia. And now let's pray Psalm 144, which speaks of the greatness and the goodness of God. Every day in our lives, God is great and God is good. The antiphon is, our God is in heaven, and he has the power to do whatever he wills. Alleluia. I will praise you to the heights, O God, my King, and I will bless your name forever and for all time. I will bless you, O God, day after day, and I will praise your name forever and all time. The Lord is great, in him all praise is due. He is great beyond measuring. Generation will pass to generation the praise of your deeds, and tell the wonders that you have done. They will tell of your overwhelming power, and pass on the tale of your greatness. They will cry out the story of your great kindness, and celebrate your judgments. The Lord takes pity, his heart is merciful, he is patient and endlessly kind. The Lord is gentle to all, and he shows his kindness to all of creation. Let all of your creatures proclaim you, O Lord. Let your chosen ones bless you. Let them tell of the glory of your reign. Let them speak of your power, so that the children of men may know what you do. See the glory of your kingdom, and see your greatness. Your kingdom stands firm for all ages. Your rule lasts forever and ever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our God is in heaven, and he has the power to do whatever he wills. Alleluia. Now in that sacred silence, let us continue, and let us pray the canticle from Revelation, the wedding of the Lamb. Praise God, all you his servants, both great and small, alleluia, is the antiphon. Alleluia, salvation and glory and power belong to our God, because his judgments are true and just. Alleluia, alleluia, praise our God, all his servants, and you who fear him, small and great. Alleluia, alleluia, for the Lord reigns, our God, the Almighty. Let us rejoice and exult and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The marriage of the Lamb has come, and his spouse has made herself ready. Alleluia. 
may we all be made ready when the Lord comes into our lives in a very major way. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we say, Praise God, all you his servants, both great and small. Alleluia. We have this short reading now that was a letter from Paul to the Corinthians. It's 1 Corinthians in the Bible. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death. For everything has to be put under his feet. Though when it is said that everything is subjected, this clearly cannot include the one who subjected everything to him. And when everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will be subject, subject in his turn to the one who subjected all things to him, so that God may be all in all. <clears throat> we praise God for his plan in our lives and for his plan for the universe and for his plan for our beloved earth, Mother Gaia. Our response is, Your throne, O God, shall stand forever and ever. Your throne, O God, shall stand firm forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice, and your throne, O God, shall stand forever and ever. Glory be to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God. And we say again, Your throne, O God, shall stand forever and ever. And now we continue to pray, and now we pray the Magnificat, the song of Mary, the song that she had in her heart as she met Elizabeth. And the antiphon for today's canticle is, All authority, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, says the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has shown me such favor, me his lowly handmaiden. Now all generations will call me blessed, because the Mighty One has done great things for me, and his name is holy. His mercy lasts for generation unto generation for those who revere him. He has put forth his strength, and he has scattered the proud and the conceited. He has torn princes from their thrones, and he has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he sends away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his mercy as he promised to our fathers and mothers, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory be to our Father, Mother God to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, says the Lord. And now, dear ones, let us gather together and pray for each other through our intercessory prayer. Jesus tells us, and calls us, rather, to share in his glory. Let us make our prayers with him to our Heavenly Father. As we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we pray for all nations, that they may seek the way that leads to peace, that human rights and freedom may be everywhere respected, and that the world's resources may be generously shared. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all faith traditions, that the leaders may be faithful ministers, and that all members may be strong in faith and hope, and that God may be recognized in the love he bears to all. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for our families and our communities in which we live, that we may find you, God, in them. As we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves that in the coming week we may serve others in our work and find peace when we rest. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our faithful departed, that through your mercy they may find rest in peace. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people that are gathered here today, all of the eight people that we are today, and for all that are here that we can see, uh, Brother Sean, I think Sister Sue is here, myself and all of those that we don't see, Sister Nancy, uh, Brother Brian, Sister Elizabeth is with us, and everyone else who's not logged in. We pray for the needs of all of us here today. We ask God to richly bless us and to see in our hearts that we ask with sincerity. We mainly ask that things be made better in our families and our situations. We're not asking for gold or glitter. We may be asking for financial blessing, but it is only that we can have things better in our families and be able from our abundance to help others. So please bless us here today, Lord. We ask it humbly, and we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With Brother Sean, we hold all that are here, and myself, thanking God for my gifts to everyone today in prayer. And gifts are only given by our Father, Mother, God. And we all have gifts, and we all thank God for the gifts that we have. We pray with Brother Sean for Brother Paul and all the support he continues to share with us, bridging the divide within the Franciscan family worldwide. And we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Brother Harry and his recent loss. And we ask you, Lord, to just bless Harry. Give him give stability in his life now, that he may go on and be filled with peace. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for joy to be in our lives, despite any afflictions may, we may have, and also all the situations that we see in the world. We continue, Lord, to hold fast to that joy and make it the cornerstone of our lives. Joy is not necessarily a feeling. It is an act of the will to be happy. And then God gives you the grace to be joyful and to be filled with happiness. It needs to be in the center of your being. So we pray for this today, Lord, and we ask in your mercy to hear our prayer. We hold our brother Harry in the United States and Sister Nancy in New Mexico for their gift of self to our Franciscan family and that many more will come and join us. And we pray for all members of the Teo family, both past present and those who will come in the future for with God all time is the present so we pray Lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for sister Miriam and her selfless devotion to our Teo newsletter and may she receive many submissions from all of the members and we pray Lord in your mercy hear our prayer I'm sorry, um, Brother Sean said it should have been Brother Brian in the United States and not Harry. So we pray for Brother Brian in the United States here, as we already prayed for Harry in the UK. We ask God to bless. He knows everything anyway. So no matter what mistakes we make, God sorts it all out. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all loving pets, especially Chewy, Sue's birds, and all our furry friends, so we thank you, Lord, today. Chewie is doing rather well without Gregorian chant playing. So hopefully that will continue. Um, right now he's laying next to Sister Elizabeth. So usually he settles down during prayers, but we'll see. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank God for the gift of Brother Sean and Brother Rob and for all the blessings that they give our community and the others that they help, help out with 
uh, so selflessly. We pray for peace in their community. We pray for peace in Storth and in the UK. And we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and for the faithful departed in our families that we may have peace and that they may find peace and find your mercy. And we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now, beloved ones, just now, you can put what you like on the chat board, but just bring yourselves to God now in the silence and just offer whatever is on your hearts to our Father, Mother, God. And we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Okay, dear ones, now we pray the Our Father. We pray together in a circle of love as we always do. And we put in our midst every situation, everything in our midst. We put our lives in our midst as we offer ourselves to God. So we say, Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, it is your will to unite the entire universe through your Son, Jesus, the King of heaven and earth. Grant freedom to the whole of creation, and let all the whole of creation praise and serve your majesty forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is your Son, our brother and teacher, and who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless each and every one of us here, deliver us from every evil, and bring us to everlasting life, now and in the life to come. Amen. Our final blessing for the day. <clears throat> Bless our homes and those that dwell within. Bless our giving and our receiving. Bless our words and our conversations. Bless our hands and our recreation. Bless our sowing and bless our growing. Bless our coming and our going. Bless all who enter our homes and depart. Bless all our homes, dear Lord, your peace forever in part. Okay, so thank you so much, and happy feast day, everyone, uh, Brother Sean says. And we reiterate that here from Monastery of St. Clair in Philadelphia. And we ask that you stay strong, you stay full of peace, and you have that joy in your lives every single day. So through Francis Sinclair, I impart to you a namaste. Blessings to you. And don't forget, all of you, if you can, just try to share something about Christmas or the season of light or whatever your faith tradition is with Sister Miriam in New Zealand. She's putting together, even as we speak, that beautiful newsletter. So I'm putting out a call to all of you, as we say in the United States, a shout out to everybody out there so that you may please support Sister Miriam in her ministry. Thank you again.